Hi friends, this is your friend and host Ashish Chaudhary. Today we are at Sterling Pharmaceutical College, uh, Nerul. So we have the privilege to meet uh, the principal of degree college, Dr. Gharge MS. Uh, he is a principal of here, uh, of this uh, college. Let us see what he has to say about pharmacy. The pharmacy profession in India has undergone transition and transformation of last 50 decades, 5 decades. Because anciently, the ancient pharma, which were, which inception was in India, in the form of this Yunani, Ayurvedic, Veda, Charak, Samsruta, but since then, the pharmacy trans uh, profession has undergone transformation. It is now technic technological based uh, curriculum. And it is caring for the patient, caring for the society, caring for the national health. And last five decades, there is a tremendous changes. There are various avenues have been opened for the students pursuing this pharma career. See, India is the hub for pharma products. India is the third largest country in the world for supplying drugs and intermediate to the whole world. And we have this technical age as the pharmacologists in India, they have gone, you all, in many ways. Because we are developing at this Sterling Institute of Pharmacy, I have been associated with this pharma education last 35 years. And I have seen the changes. And similarly, we are transforming our students to develop them in knowledge hub and skill-oriented education. So that's why Sterling Institute of Pharmacy has started skill-oriented courses. In Sterling Shop Pharmacy, Pharma Education is club with the training and placement. We have introduced the summer internship for the student right from this first year to final year. They have to undergo one month training in the medical outlets, in the hospitals, in the industry, so that simultaneously with theoretical knowledge in the academic institution, they can be well versed with the practical training in the industry so that as soon as they get graduated from this institute, they will be skilled and they will be ready to work on the pharma platforms. So that is the advantage of the students who are pursuing this graduate course in this college. And simultaneously, we have started these bridge courses to bridge the gap between the academic institutions and the industry. So we are subjecting this uh, training, we are subjecting the students to undergo this training for one month. In all, there are four models we have, we have designed for the students from first year to final year. As they complete the four modules, each module in one year, they will be completing the pharma management course. And we will be giving this certificate course to the students along with this basic graduation in the pharma industry. So, as we are keeping pace with the modern development, because curriculum doesn't change. Uh, because it takes a lot of time to design the curriculum teacher. But to keep the pace with the modern development, we are educating our students by our in industry institute interaction sales. And the placement is 100%. As students are trained and skilled as per the need of the industry, so their placement is 100%. Okay. And also we are providing them the higher education how to go abroad and pursue these courses abroad in America, Canada, European countries, as well as in India also. So do they get a scholarship also? Yes. Uh, our Sterling Institute of Pharmacy is promoting this talent and we are giving them the scholarship. As soon as they enter in the pharmacy, if they, they score the distinction in the CET, we give them scholarship for the three students. Okay. And also, if that performance is sustained over the four years, we are giving them concession in the fees. Okay. So, right now, where were your students are placed? Like? My students are placed abroad and in India, okay. all the industries. And okay. our alumni, they form this association, hmm. they are contributing to the growth of this institution. 
Okay. Many of the students, 20 percent of the students are going abroad and they have a linkage with the colleges okay. and they have formed this alumni association, they have formed this bridge courses to educate the students and they will have a age over other students. So do you see uh, a great scope in this pharma industry? There is a great scope. Okay. Even in the during time of this recession, yeah. pharma industry never, it has not never gone back. It is tremendously rising in form of this education, in form of this technology, in form of this uh, innovative techniques. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, it's just a general question uh, from the public point of view. Sir, medicines are becoming very expensive nowadays. So, and also the medical treatment. So, would you like no, to say... This I want to just... Throw okay. this light on this. Yeah. The Pradhan Mantri Jana Aushadi Kendra. Okay. That has been promoted by the government of India. Okay. And there is a misconception about these drugs which are made available through this Prime Minister's scheme. They are the quality drugs. Because they are manufactured at the at all industries. Generic medicine has, has been and that drug is tested in the government outlets. So that these are yeah, quality wise the drugs are same. But the concept among this constitution, conception in this uh, people, as uh, this is cheaper, that must be, it may not be a quality. But it is, that is a wrong conception. They are quality drugs and they are provided to the all uh, the poor people in India. They can, all population in India can afford that drug. There is a, around 70% of this discount they are getting compared to this uh, prices of the branded medicine. Oh, right, sir. But the outlets of generic medicines are very few. Because uh, the way to drive this, uh, you know, to uh, programs taken under... They, they, they should be available to the public easily, sir. That's... Yeah, they, that's the outlets are very less now. Yeah. But the government is promoting this generic medicine. And the days will come, everywhere, every medical um, retail will... Will be will be compulsory for them to keep this genetic medicine. That's great, sir. That's a great news. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for talking to us, and we'll be uh, coming to you for, uh, for uh, another subject next time, sir. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We are now at uh, Sterling College uh, Pharmacy Department, ph Pharmaceutical Department, and uh, these are the students who are doing uh, their final year. So we are going to ask them uh, about the social work which they are doing uh, apart from their studies. Uh, uh, let me ask who is going to speak. Yes. So tell me how 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 you do go about it. Uh, your name. Your name. Aliman Kureshi. Aliman Kureshi. Third year B Pharmacy. Okay. Uh, we actually do the PHO events, which includes all the social services. And recently, we have done the uh, World Pharmacist Day, uh, in which we have explained the people what things they can do after B Pharmacy, after 12th standard. That means, uh, what scope do we have in B Pharm, excluding the uh, studies? What else we can do? That is doing MBA, M Pharm, <coughs> and then getting into. Uh, other companies in uh, all the department that is QC, uh, pharmacovigilance and anything else. So um, uh, uh, this was the, your sh social activity yes. for the awareness? Yes, yes. For the, uh, and also patient counselling. We have done patient counselling for the people who don't know what uh, exactly the diseases are and also telling them what preventive measures they can take to uh, stop the disease or if or and spreading and even spreading the disease can be avoided by taking uh, simple measures like washing the hands uh, and everything and if to avoid malaria and everything we should cover the windows yeah and also for tuberculosis if the uh, if a treatment is started it should be continued for a year it should not be stopped as per the physician uh, these things these things and uh, you have done awareness about the dengue also yes you have done that for, for that also uh, for smoking and tobacco also yeah so that kind of uh, counseling you have done yes and the dengue uh, for dengue what you did uh, we spread pamphlets and everything. Have you spread pamphlets spread, and everything? Spread uh, pamphlets and Okay, we, uh, first of all, we went outside near the stations. Yeah. We went to all the Navi Mumbai major stations. And then we talked about how, uh, by giving them pamphlets about the preventive measures, we talked about how we can stop it, what exactly happens in those particular diseases. And uh, 
while giving the pamphlets we also gave them stickers to uh, where we, where they can put it on their auto rickshaws or their shops so that when people come to them they can see it and an awareness can spread to them wow i would also like to get one sticker <laughs> so uh, any anyone else wants to say something about uh, today we have this exclusive <coughs> meet with the students see they are started coughing uh, so anyway this is a interactive show so uh, nothing to worry about it so uh, any 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 other person would like to say something so uh, here we are going to gayatri who is going to talk about uh, the future plans and other plans uh, yes gayatri in college council we have public health office which uh, specially works on uh, awareing people uh, about common diseases and how we can um, help them to remain healthy and uh, safe so right now we are going to do conduct a seminar on uh, mental health awareness week uh, in which we will talk about depression and how to um, avoid depression and how how we can help people in depression um, and then we are going to talk we have we are going to celebrate world infection day we are going to uh, talk about menstrual hygiene in rural areas uh, these are what we are okay doing. so this is gayatri uh, gayatri uh, uh, as you said the, the depression uh, so you are going to counsel that depression can be cured without medication yeah okay the most important what we need is moral support from everyone around us okay and um, positivity positively very true thank you so much gayatri thank you your name is zia right yes okay so zia uh, what you said uh, uh, i talked about how uh, how we how we conducted our uh, patient counseling session by giving them <coughs> pamphlets and talking to the auto rickshaw drivers as well as the street people on the streets about how we can uh, c- control the disease spreading all right thank okay. you so viewers here is gaurav hi guys yeah uh, i would like to talk about my college that is ncrd sterling oh. institute of pharmacy and um, it is a respectable institution which is situated in uh, sea woods that is near <laughs> that's in navi mumbai and uh, the facility here the faculty here is very helpful they help us in each and every way that is possible the canteen here is uh, providing good food and uh, also Wow. Also, also the uh, college gives us opportunities to go on industrial visits recently we were uh, taken to sipla that is in uh, near panvel so in patal ganga that is right so we were taken for an industrial visit to sipla yeah and uh, that they showed us how you know the tablet formulation takes how the medicines were made uh, how they uh, they have the procedures of how to you know uh, dispense and uh, manufacture medicines so it was a good opportunity for us to uh, see and uh, you know get get experienced enough for us to understand how the method works okay yeah. so in in short you like medicine you love medicine yes because ah, we are in this okay. field okay would you like to take one <laughs> it depends what is it for <laughs> Anyway, it, it was just a joke. It was just a joke. It was just a joke, guys. Anyway, uh, we had a very nice session with you all, and I hope that uh, pharmacy will uh, take a new way, new way out, and uh, the new generation, the new people who are behind you all, will uh, definitely uh, think about doing pharmacy. Uh, that's what we think. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.